Gentlemen, welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is Nick from Australia and welcome to the Melbourne Storm versus Sydney Roosters semi-final review. Holy shit, what a game of footy. One of the best games of the season, man. I know there were some really fucking bad calls um, against the Roosters and against Melbourne and obviously there was one late where we thought it might have been a penalty to Harry Grant but... Ended up being play on and then Munster, crossfield kick, Willie Warbrick takes the ball, scores the try, but two to go and Melbourne win and they advance to the preliminary final next Friday night against the Penrith Panthers. What a game. If you're a Roosters fan, obviously you wouldn't be doing too good at the moment, so I hope they're all doing all right. Um, I've got a friend, I've got a content creator who's a good friend of mine who's down in Sydney, uh, down in Melbourne, sorry, and um, I want to give a shout out to Hainsey, hope he's doing okay, that would have been a very tough way to um, lose, especially going out like that with fucking two minutes to go, so uh, shout out to regular YouTuber uh, content creator Hainsey, hope you're all good brother, that would have been a tough pill to swallow. All right, now we've got a bit of a crowd building up here now. Hello to the chat. Hope everyone's doing good. Uh, hello to Jason Reader. Hello to Flash Red. Harley. Cody Games PlayStation. CJ Moxley. William Pearson. Jeffrey. Good evening, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. This live stream is being recorded off my mobile phone. Um, so, yeah, making things... Changing up a little bit. Um... Got the laptop right in front of me. We're going to get into the review. What a game. Dolphins fan is here. Hello. Um, what a game. Like, honestly, it was one of the great semifinals. We haven't seen a semifinal this good in a while. I mean, I know we had Newcastle camera last week. We had Roosters and Sharks last week. But this was a real low-scoring battle. It was a grind. It was a really tough physical game of rugby league. And I think... Um, a lot of people would be like, oh, it was a boring game, blah, blah, blah. It was a quality game. It was a quality game of football. Now, I just want to go out and say that um, if anybody is going to claim robbery for this, I know a lot of Roosters fans are going to say they were ripped off. You weren't ripped off. Listen, you simply weren't ripped off. Um, they... Should have held on at the end. Um, Corey Allen gave away that six again, which was very silly at the end there on the halfway line. And then Melbourne obviously got down there, and Harry Grant did get tackled high. He did lay down. Ashley Klein didn't buy it. And then obviously the crossfield kick from Munster to, um, to Willie Warbrick, which ended up being the try. Um, yeah, so Melbourne Storm... Advance to the prelim next week, which is going to be absolutely outstanding. What a game of footy. Um, as to everyone is asking about how I went with the bets, I went okay tonight. I could have done better. Um, I did get Brendan Smith for second, third, which was good. Um, I missed out on... I needed Kiri for... Um, my mum to win some money, so that was unlucky. We just needed Luke Keery to go win. But, yeah, Melbourne, they just, they got it done late in the game. And, look, it definitely wasn't convincing for Melbourne. Like, they got to play Penrith next week. So, they're going to have to play a lot better if they're going to win next week against Penrith. They're going to have to be a lot better than that. Now, I know Melbourne will probably get back Jerome Hughes next week, which will be a big inclusion. They may even get back... Xavier Coates, so um, who the hell knows what's going to happen next week. Um, just having a look at the NRL website here, some of the um, some of the stats. Obviously, the crowd was nineteen thousand. Obviously, you had another eighty thousand over the over the road at the AFL, as everyone would know. The try scores from this game, you had um, Brendan, you had Wishart score first. Um, Marion Seve went over And then there was a try to Brendan Smith Lindsay Collins Then the Sam Walker field goal Which had the Roosters in front With about 10 to go 
eight to go or whatever it was. And then obviously um, Munster with the crossfield kick and Willie Warbrick. Willie Warbrick with the match winner takes the ball in the air. Um, poor junior uh, Palga. Very unfortunate moment for the young fella. But um, yeah, very good. Very good to see a young fellow like Will Warbrick stand up in a big game. Good to see. So, I'll tell you, it's going to be very interesting next week. Obviously, Melbourne playing Penrith. That's going to be a big game. Um, I believe it'll be at a cool stadium. Me, personally, I would move it to Allianz, but it'll probably be um, at a cool stadium. Now, let's have a look at some of the, uh, the key stats from the game. Um, Melbourne. 51% possession. So they had more ball than the Roosters, but not by a whole lot. Roosters had 49%, which was, you know, there's not much between it, to be fair. Um, let's have a look at some of the completion rates and the errors. Um, if I can find the bastard. Roosters had a lot more tackles in the Storm. They made 362 tackles. Melbourne had 318. Melbourne missed 45 tackles. Now, if you're going to play Penrith, Next week in a prelim, um, you definitely can't be making 45 missed tackles. You've got to fix that part up. Uh, Roos is at 34 missed tackles, which is not too bad. Uh, nine errors each. Um, eight full penalty count in favour of Melbourne, I believe, unless I'm reading that wrong. There was more than three six against. I think the, I think the NRL app has stuffed up here. There was definitely more six against than... Three in the whole game. Up there were several of them, so that's absolute fake news. If I've if I've ever seen fake news, but um, what a game! What a game! Yeah, everyone's everyone's in the chats writing Pampers thirteen plus next week. I'm not surprised that I'm hearing that. Um, the thing is, like, I I hate saying this, but it's the fucking truth. Like, yeah, okay, Penrith probably win next week, and they will be the favourite, but the thing is, you just can't write off Melbourne. Like, I don't care how much you think Penrith are a bigger gut com compared to Melbourne. Penrith, the Penrith Panthers and the Melbourne Storm, it'll be a big game next week, and I would say 90% of tipsters are going to go Penrith, but... The thing with Melbourne is you just can't write them off. You just don't know. Because if you remember, everyone, now some people may forget this. You go back to the um Go back to go back to the 2021 preliminary final. Melbourne played Penrith on a Sunday afternoon, I think it was, Saturday afternoon, up at Suncorp Stadium. And Melbourne were odds on favourites. Everyone thought Melbourne would win and win well. Penrith are paying about three or four dollars to win that, and Penrith ambushed them ten six. Now the fucking cards are literally flipped and um, uh, reversed the other way. Now Penrith are the odds-on favourites. Melbourne are going to be the underdogs. Melbourne, are, Mel I'm telling you right now, as a betting man, and I know how this shit works. Melbourne are going to be paying free. To five dollars next week to beat Penrith, so like it's going to be ridiculous odds for Melbourne, ridiculous odds. Uh, some more stats here. Tedesco had the most most running meters here tonight, two hundred and twenty eight meters. Nothing surprising there. Nick Meany had one hundred and ninety one. Terrell May off the bench had the most tackles at forty five. Josh King at thirty nine tackles. Man, this was a cracking game. I I really enjoyed this. I know a few people probably didn't enjoy it. But I thought this was a great game of football, man. Great game of football. Let's just get into the review. We'll go through it for um, try to try. Also, if you're new around here, guys, don't forget to like the stream. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here as well. I'd really appreciate everyone that would um, subscribe to the channel. Would really appreciate that. So, yeah, Melbourne, obviously, they had, they had all the ball early. That They were the much better team early on. And then um, I think it was Luke Carey. He came up out of the line and... Um, he was so worried about, about Eli Katoa, and then Brendan Smith sort of just, uh, he was very flat-footed, and Tyron Wishart just put on a dummy and went straight through. Some really um, good, good speed there from Wishart. Melbourne go out to 4-0 after seven minutes. 
really good start there for the Melbourne Storm. And then um, a few minutes later, uh, Victor Radley with a high tackle on Nick Meany. Now, if you ask me, it wasn't a penalty. The tackle from Radley on Meany wasn't even high. He got him, he got him in the shoulder. It, there was nothing in it. It was a really tough 50-50 call for mine. So Melbourne went out to a 6-0 lead after kicking a penalty goal. And then I guess the Roosters had a few chances and their attack was a bit, a bit flat at times there. And then Melbourne had some uh, good offloads and had some space on that right edge. And Marion Seve ended up going over to score a very good try for the um, for the Melbourne Storm. I'm just going to put someone in time out there. Can't be having spammers in the chat, man. Not going to have that. Marion Seve on that right edge just ends up going over to score a fantastic try for the Melbourne Storm. Good to see. Uh, Melbourne 10-0. Really good start for Melbourne. 10-0 in a semi-final is a very handy lead to have. Um, anyway, right before half time there, in the 33rd minute, Roosters are on the attack, and it just there wasn't a whole lot going for them. And Brendan Smith from Dummy Half found a little bit of space. Brendan from Dummy Half reached out, got the ball onto the white line. Brendan Smith scores for the Roosters, and it's all of a sudden, it's game on, folks. Melbourne lead 10-6. We get to half time, and you know I thought Melbourne at half time leading ten six was probably the uh, appropriate scoreline because if you go back to it, Melbourne they had a few late changes before kickoff, and they made some big calls. You had Nelson Osama Solomona go into the starting front row with Christian Welsh going back to the bench. Harry Grant went to the bench for Bronson Garlic to start at hooker, and I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there with Dad, and I'm going, "Fuck, that's a." That's a gamble and a half from Craig Bellamy. But you know what? Putting Bronson Gullick in the starting side and Harry Grant off the bench, it was actually a genius move from Craig Bellamy. I did not mind that. But I think next week when you when they play Penrith, you've got to start Harry Grant, you've got to start Nelson, and you've got to keep that bench rotation on. And you know what? Christian Welsh, I absolutely destroyed Christian Welsh last week. Criticism-wise, I thought he was terrible. Off the bench tonight, it was a lot better. So he, he had to play well, and he did. So um, second half begins, and it's really back and forth for a long time. It's really back and forth. Both teams were at each other. Anyway, there was a penalty because Mama Roski did a dangerous tackle. Uh, there wasn't much in it, but it definitely was a penalty. Nick Meany went for goal. Melbourne go out to 12-6. 12-6 in favour of uh, Melbourne. And then the Roosters, absolute shades of last week. If you go back to that Sharks-Roosters game, this was becoming a very similar situation against the Sharks last week. Like, Roosters is in storm. This game was looking like Roosters-Sharks 2.0. Anyway, Roosters um, get a few very nice offloads away, and they have some space on the right edge. And Lindsay Collins, of all people, Catches the ball, scores next to the post, and folks were leveled up at 12, 12 all. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 12 all. And then a few minutes later, um, there was a knock on from Munster. It was a crucial knock on, I should say. Anyway, Roosters get in position, and uh, Sam Walker right in front, about 30 out, 25 out, I think it was, kicks a field goal. Roosters take a 13-12 lead, and it's all of a sudden, shades of last week is happening again. And I'm like, the Roosters are going to fucking steal this. They're going to hang on here, and they're going to they're gonna play Penrith next week at a cool stadium. But this is where the chaos begins, and you guys are going to be, like, if you didn't watch the game, you're going to be going, what the fuck? So, Melbourne... Um, there was a knock on from Jackson Paulo. I think Olam was down in back play behind the play injured sort of thing. And then um, there was a pass from, who was it? I think it was Corey Allen who threw a stupid pass to Jackson Paulo. Paulo knocked on. And um, so, yeah, anyway, Melbourne went for a field goal. Oh. 
missed it. It was a shocking field goal. And then this is where the ending part happens. So Melbourne are just behind the halfway line, or just on halfway. And um, Corey Allen gives away a six again. He shoves one of the Melbourne players in the back. Six again. So stupid. I don't know what Corey Allen was thinking. He probably feels like he's to blame for this, to be honest. I um, hope he's okay, but fuck, you don't you don't do that in the semi final. The referee says get off, you get off anyway. Melbourne get down there and they're on the left hand side. Harry Grant gets hit high. Um, he does lay down, milks a penalty for it. Ashley Klein wasn't buying it, which was good to see. Ashley Klein not buying it. Um, Munster kicks the ball cross field and Willie Warbrick takes it in the air. He um. He outclasses uh, Junior Palga in the air. And Will Warbrick scores a try with two minutes to go to put Melbourne 16-13 in front. Unbelievable. They milk about a minute off the clock as well, the Storm, mind you. Anyway, conversion successful. Storm 18-13. Roosters go short kickoff. Can't get it back. Taken by Nick Meany. And the Storm... Unbelievably, they get out of jail. They have they found a way to get it done. And the Melbourne Storm have beaten the Roosters 18-13. Storm advance to the preliminary final next week. They'll take on the Panthers. Winner will go to the grand final. Um, Penrith will be odds-on favourite to win. But like I said before, when it comes to finals, you can never write off Melbourne. You just can't do it. So... If anyone's going to beat Penrith, it, it may be Melbourne. You just never know. Maybe it's not Brisbane. Maybe Melbourne could do it. You just never know. But unbelievable. Melbourne, they just find a way. They really do. They just find a way. And, yeah, they're through to the prelim final. Unbelievable. I think the, uh, the Roosters can keep their heads up high. I don't think anyone expected them to do anything in this final series. And, they were two minutes away from going to a prelim to play Penrith from eighth position. So, you know, or well, seventh, seventh position, I, sh I should say. They upset the Sharks last week in Cronulla. And then, obviously, tonight they, they were down 10-0 and they got back in front there, 13-12. And unfortunately, they just couldn't hang in there. So, it's going to be extremely interesting to see... Um, the fallout to this. There were some bad calls that went both ways. Um, there was a bad call against the Roosters where there was a knock on from Harry Grant. There was a high tackle on Harry Grant. So this this game could, could have easily been 14 13. So there were a lot of bad calls that went both ways. But hey, at the end of the day, it was a really cracking semi final. I enjoyed the game. Um, I don't, like, I didn't really give a shit too much who won, but. Um, I enjoyed the match and good luck to Melbourne next week. They got to play Penrith down at um, a core stadium. I don't know if um, I don't know if the Storm will um, will win next week, but you just never know what's going to happen. Just never know what's going to happen. Now, um, before I go, I'll give you guys my um, players, the best players on the field. So because I'm doing this on my phone tonight, this live stream. I'm not going to rate them all out of 10. I'm just going to give you my top three players from the game, in my opinion. So I'm going to start number three, the third best player on the field. Um, look, I, I, I thought I thought Nick Meany at fullback had a had a very good game for the Melbourne Storm. I thought Nick Meany was very good. So the third best player on the field for me was Nick Meany. Number two. The second best player on the field. I've got to go Brendan Smith from the Roosters. I know he went off with the last 20. Played the first, he played 62 minutes straight. I thought Brendan Smith was outstanding for the Roosters. Thought he had a blinder. And the player of the game. I've got to give it to Cameron Munster. Like I thought Munster tonight was very good. And needed a big game. And he definitely stood up. Especially when the game was on the line too. With the cross field kick. I know that could have went either way with the contest. But... Munster for me, player of the game. Brennan Smith, second best. And then 
Nick Meany probably after that. Then, then after that, then you're looking at guys like Tedesco. Uh, you're looking at guys like um, Wishart, who was good. Um, Nelson had a good game. Um, you know, I thought Harry Grant was still pretty quiet. Harry Grant is got to get his passing game right. And for the Roosters, Terrell May was great. Sandon Smith, Radley, they were all very strong for the Roosters. Sam Walker had a good game. Momorowski looked all right as well. So, great game of footy. Munster is my player of the match. But, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. Thank you all for watching the um, Storm and Roosters semi-final review. If you're new around here, don't forget to like the uh, stream. Subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. And thank you all for tuning in. Have a fantastic night. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Warriors Knights semi-final review. Anyway, until then, see you then. Storm win, 18-13.